In 2026, the Philippines has taken yet another decisive step forward in modernizing its defense capabilities. Welcome to the Reverend Line, and today we are diving into the game-changing deployment of the Iris TSLS missile system in the Philippines, a move that not only marks a turning point for the armed forces of the Philippines, AFP, but also signals a broader shift in regional air defense dynamics in Southeast Asia. The IRIS TSLS, which stands for Infrared Imaging System Tail, Thrust Vector Controlled Short Range Surface Launched, is the ground based version of the German made IRIS T air to air missile. Developed by Diel Defense, this missile system has been recognized globally for its agility, precision, and versatility. Its deployment in the Philippines reflects a major shift toward layered, integrated air defense strategies aimed at countering modern aerial threats, including cruise missiles, drones, and low-flying aircraft. Now, let's take a closer look at what makes the IRIS TSLS system a revolutionary asset for the Philippine military. Unlike traditional air defense missiles, the IRIS TSLS is derived directly from a proven air to air combat missile, offering enhanced speed and maneuverability. With a range of approximately 12 to 15 kilometers and a high explosive fragmentation warhead, this missile is designed for rapid reaction and high kill probability against fast moving targets. In the past, the Philippines had limited options in terms of ground based air defense. Most systems were either outdated or lacked the sophistication to engage contemporary threats. But the introduction of the IRIS TSLS changes that completely. The system uses a highly mobile launcher platform, capable of being integrated onto various wheeled or tracked vehicles, making it suitable for the Philippines' geographically diverse terrain from the urban centers of Metro Manila to the mountainous regions and coastal zones of Mindanao and Palawan. What sets the Iris TSLS apart is its passive infrared seeker, which allows it to lock onto the heat signature of enemy aircraft or drones without alerting them with radar emissions. This makes it extremely difficult for adversaries to detect the missile system before it's too late. Its hit-to-kill capability ensures that it strikes the target with pinpoint accuracy, minimizing collateral damage and maximizing lethality. But acquiring the missile is only one part of the story. The more important narrative lies in the Philippine Air Force's increasing focus on building an integrated and layered defense shield. The IRIS TSLS will serve as the lower tier of this shield, complementing longer range systems like the Spider, NASAMS, or even future acquisitions such as the Patriot or SAMP, T, if those deals come through. This tiered architecture is crucial in a modern combat environment where simultaneous threats from different altitudes and directions are the norm. The decision to acquire the IRIS TSLS didn't happen overnight. It's part of the broader revised AFP modernization program, particularly Horizon 3, which emphasizes the development of credible deterrence capabilities. The Philippines has been strengthening its defense posture in response to regional tensions, especially in the West Philippine Sea where Chinese military activities continue to raise concerns. As a result, air defense has become a top priority and the IRIS TSLS fits perfectly into this strategic shift. In fact, the IRIS TSLS system is already being deployed to key air bases and critical infrastructure sites across the country. Initial reports suggest that training for Filipino operators began as early as late 2025, in partnership with German defense experts. Simulation exercises have been conducted to ensure smooth operational integration, including real time response drills and electronic warfare countermeasure tests. And what about interoperability? This is where the system truly shines. The IRIS TSLS is designed to work seamlessly within NATO standard command and control networks, making it compatible with other modern radar systems like Saab's Giraffe or Israel's L-M 2084. 
for the Philippines. This means that the missile can be integrated into a broader air defense net without requiring costly and time-consuming overhauls. Another major advantage is the system's modular design. Not only does this make future upgrades easier, but it also allows the Philippines to customize the setup based on specific threats or mission requirements. Whether it's protecting airfields, command centers, or even naval port, the Iris TSLS provides flexible, on-demand coverage. The launcher can be reloaded quickly, and the missiles are stored in sealed canisters, increasing their shelf life and reducing maintenance costs. Of course, every major acquisition like this comes with a geopolitical angle. By partnering with Germany for the Iris TSLS, the Philippines is signaling its willingness to work with European defense firms, diversifying away from traditional suppliers like the United States. This diversification not only brings in cutting-edge technology but also reduces dependence on a single source for critical defense hardware. It's a smart move that adds resilience to the country's defense supply chain. Furthermore, this acquisition enhances the Philippines' credibility in regional security dialogues. It's a message to both allies and potential adversaries. The country is not just a passive observer but an active participant in shaping Indo-Pacific security. The Iris TSLS is more than a weapon it's a symbol of national resolve, technological advancement, and strategic foresight. There's also a growing recognition that missile defense systems like the Iris TSLS can serve dual-use roles during peacetime. For instance, their radar systems can assist in air traffic monitoring, disaster response operations, or even defending against terrorist drone threats. In a region prone to natural disasters and with increasing use of unmanned aerial vehicles, this capability provides added value to civilian authorities as well. Looking ahead, the future of Philippine air defense looks promising. If the Iris TSLS proves successful, it could pave the way for deeper defense partnerships, joint development programs, or even the local assembly of missile components through technology transfer deals. There's also potential for the Philippines to use its strategic location as a hub for regional air defense training and logistics support. But challenges remain. Sustaining high-end systems like the Iris TSLS requires long-term investments in training, maintenance, and logistics. The AFP must ensure a reliable supply chain for spare parts and technical support. Moreover, it must invest in indigenous defense research and personnel development to make full use of these advanced tools. Without this, the risk of capability decay is real. Despite these challenges, one thing is clear the Iris TSLS marks a bold leap into the future. It's a clear reflection of a new doctrine that prioritizes proactive defense, advanced technology, and regional readiness. For the Filipino people, it represents peace through strength or visible commitment to safeguarding the skies above every city, village, and coastline. So the next time you look up and see a fighter jet or a transport aircraft passing overhead, remember that high above, or perhaps even hidden just over the horizon, systems like the Iris TSLS are standing guard or quiet, watchful, and ready. This is the Reverend Line. Stay tuned for more deep dives into the weapons shaping tomorrow's battles and today's deterrence. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more cutting-edge military tech updates.